Einstein's theory of relativity showed that time is not constant. It can stretch or shrink depending on speed and gravity. The famous equation E equals mc squared tells us that energy and mass are two sides of the same coin. And his theory of relativity showed us something profound. Time is not absolute. It can speed up or slow down depending on how fast you're moving or how strong gravity is. This is a Minkowski diagram. Instead of just space, this graph includes time. Specifically, time multiplied by the speed of light, labeled here as ct. This simple chalkboard sketch reveals something profound. Time and space aren't separate. They're one fabric, and how you move through one changes how you experience the other. The horizontal axis represents space in one direction, labeled x. The diagonal line at 45 degrees shows the path of light. In relativity, nothing can move faster than this line. It defines the edge of what we call the light cone, the limit of how fast information or matter can travel. The space below the diagonal line is labeled moving object. This represents something with mass, like a spaceship moving through both space and time. The closer the object's trajectory is to the line, the slower the motion through space and the faster the passage of time. When you move faster through space, you move slower through time. This is why astronauts on high-speed journeys experience time dilation. Their clocks tick more slowly compared to those back on Earth. At the bottom, we see the space-time interval equation. Again, the variables are as follows. S is the space-time interval. C, the speed of light. T, time between the two events. X, distance and space between the two events. This equation shows that time and space are woven together. It's how we calculate the true distance between two events, not just in space, but in space-time. What if 